I've been staying at home for the past three weeks and I'm honestly so sick of it. Before we go out first, let's go get my parcels. In case you guys haven't known, I've been obsessed with Chinese online shopping. So I've been kind of buying things like every other day. And now let's go collect them. I'm headed towards the train station right now and I'm gonna give you guys a little update of what my life has been like and what I've been up to. The last time we spoke, I was still working in the resort in the Maldives, so a lot has changed since then. First things first, obviously I resigned from that job. There was like a number of reasons, but the main reason being just, I was just really bored. <laughs> Island life is as good as it gets if it's for a short amount of time, but you know with any place, if you stay too long, you're gonna get bored of it not to mention it's a small island there's a limited amount of opportunities people things to do so yeah i just didn't feel like i was getting enough work and life balance for a 20 year old and i was like let me just dip and then i actually got a job offer from a travel agent consultancy thing in dubai and i felt like that could be the perfect opportunity because i've really gotten into traveling and i think i could make great travel arrangements for tourists but then it occurred to me that if I start a new job, I would have to wait a whole year for my annual holidays and I really wanted to spend like a month or two in China at least and I know that wouldn't be possible with like annual holidays and so the best option I could come up with was just to like completely quit my job and not move into a new opportunity and just go to China and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I think I'm in somebody's neighborhood. Okay, time to give you guys an update on why I haven't been going out for the past few weeks and why I've just been staying at home. So after coming back to China, it's given me a lot of free time to just sit at home and think and plan for my future, I guess. And I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I want to be job hopping for a while, at least. You guys know that for the past two years, I've been hopping from country to country, job to job. As fun as it was, I kind of want to take a break from just like changing jobs every now and then you know and it took me about like a month or two of thinking and i came to the conclusion that i really want to go back to school or at least like study something and of course in order to pursue higher education i will need to obviously complete my existing education at first and you guys know that i dropped out of ninth grade which is three years short from high school graduation which is why i'm currently preparing for my ged exam i've scheduled a date for the end of december which is like less than two months oh, i'm sorry by the way in case you guys don't know what it GED is it is basically a high school equivalent C test so it tests your knowledge on four subjects which consist of math English science and social studies and of course there's like subcategories under science and social studies which is like a lot of subjects and the total amount of exams would be seven hours which I will have to do at the end of December but I think I am capable of doing that I'm literally 21 years old you know doing high school exams so that should be pretty easy for me I hope like in 2024 I will start doing vlogs more often that I don't feel awkward when somebody just walk past and I can just keep talking like that is my new year's resolution so yeah essentially after I get my exam I will be applying for higher education I've already found a school I really like it's a language school I'm not gonna tell you guys which language yet but I'll be joining the semester in summer of next year July 2024 now you may wonder what will Lily do up until July well Remember when I said I want to stop hopping from places to places? In order to do that, I'm going to do the most of it in the next eight months. Well, seven months really because July 1st, I'll be starting school. So from December till June, I'm going to be traveling across Asia. If any of you guys are interested to be my travel buddy, please be my guest. Hit me up on Instagram, whatever. Like, let's travel together, please, because I am so tired of solo traveling as well. So I'm going to be hitting up, obviously, all the affordable countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and some other cool places. Maybe volunteer with wool packers again, or maybe just do like part-time gigs. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make some money while I travel because a girl is kind of broke right now. So yeah, that's pretty much my life update. I'm kind of hungry from all the talking, so let's go find a breakfast place. Yes, I'm having a cold drink in the winter and what about it? Yeah, 
guys, so I'm leaving this place because I expected to spend a few hours over here as the internet has recommended me that the street is so fun, filled with restaurants and shops, but there's like three cute cafes and that's about it. Now we're gonna go back to the train station and I'm gonna take you guys to one of my favorite streets in the entire city. You guys are gonna love it, trust me. I cannot express how obsessed I am with this shop. Like, as soon as I saw pictures of it on Chahonsu, which is pretty much our version of Instagram, I knew I had to come here and check out the place for myself because this looks straight out of something from Melanie Martinez's music video. Like, tell me if you agree that all these outfits are something you would see her wear in her crybaby era. So initially, I didn't plan on buying anything, but when the shop girl showed me this dress, I just immediately fell in love when I put it on. I didn't even want to look at anything else, and so I may have spent like $60 on this dress, but like, I think it's pretty worth it. Can y'all please convince me that it was worth it? Update you all. I went to two vintage shops and I got two items. And oh my god, okay, let me show you what I got. So from the first shop, I bought a black beret. Not for myself, actually. This is going to be for my grandma because she was talking about wanting a black beret after seeing my blue beret, which I bought from Japan. And I got one for her. This is perfect for the winter. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on my head. Cute. Now the second item I got from this store is this dress which I showed you guys earlier. This is so cute. Like I didn't plan on buying a vintage dress, but you know sometimes I'm plan shopping other best ones. Like if I went to the shop with the intention of buying something, I probably wouldn't find what I wanted. But me going without an intention, I actually bought something that I really liked. So yeah, I got two items. Now it's 12 p.m. I'm thinking of finding a restaurant to get some lunch because I didn't even have a proper breakfast. And after lunch, I think I'll be heading to the nail salon. So I've been to this nail salon twice in the past couple of months. And you guys know that I freaking love the nail technician over there. Like this is probably the best nail I've gotten in my entire life. The first pair is this one, insert picture. And the second one is currently what's on my hand. Obviously I cut my nails off, but they were really pretty when they were long. I haven't decided what I'm gonna get next, but maybe I'll just let the nail tech decide, you know? As always, unplanned things are always the best. Yeah, let's go eat because I'm starving. I ordered a fried chicken burger with bacon because beef burgers are just not my thing. I got these super super cute ones in pastel colors which is so different from the ones I normally get like even my nail technician remembers that so yep this is how each of the nails look ah, I love this so much and look I got some Korean character writings on it is that a hint for something we will find out I don't really have anywhere else to be so I'm headed home now average Chinese lock Pretty. Hi guys, I'm home now and this is the GED book I was telling you guys about. So this consists of all the four chapters and it has about like 700 pages with practice tests, exercises, all that sort of stuff. I really need to start studying now because like I'm not even quarter of the quarter of the way done with this book. So yeah, I'm kind of scared. I'll manage to do it like 
I've accomplished way bigger things in my life, so this should be a small piece of cake. So yeah, I am going to study now, edit this vlog, hopefully get it up by tonight or tomorrow morning latest, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll try to make as many vlogs as possible, like every other week at least, so stay tuned, subscribe, and I love you guys!